battles. Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be featuring battles from Yasher who actually get legend uh, with this team. Uh, he didn't send me his legend battles, he sent me it beforehand. Uh, but this is a pretty nice team. Togekiss uh, with uh, two dragons. Relatively affordable team, especially with uh, the guard trumps as we just had a community day. Master League obviously has relatively the same same price. Um, and then uh, one legendary, which is uh, Giratina. Uh, origin. So let's go ahead and get started uh, with the battles. Before we get into the battles, I uh, just want to make a really quick announcement. I have been sponsored by G Fuel. So this video and subsequent videos uh, will be sponsored by G Fuel. I appreciate everyone's support. I really enjoy G Fuel products, so hopefully uh, you will as well and save a few dollars. Uh, Tokyo Sleet is really interesting, uh, especially it does like pretty well against Zacian. Uh, as, as we see here, obviously I have to be careful of the wild charge. It's kind of hard to tell when we said it's going to run. Um, one wild charge won't KO, but it will do a significant amount of damage. Um, yep, okay, that's fine. You can actually be able to catch. Oh my gosh, well, they were very patient there. Um, that's actually totally fine here. And actually going to throw the sand tomb here versus this. Uh, this me too, uh, which uh, easily survives. Let's see if they ice beam here, or they're gonna side strike. They're gonna double side strike for sure. Oh, we're gonna have to actually make it to the sand tomb here, and I'm assuming the Zacian will come back in. Oh, actually, gonna shield here. Oh, D6 CMP. That's actually really nice there. Um, the question is, what do you? Oh, okay, interesting. Because they want to snarl down. You just switch here, right? You switch to Giratina. Okay. Or not? Okay. Um, okay. Um, okay, you definitely no shield this. 100% no shield. Wild Charge is actually the correct move to throw here because Close Combat is double resisted here. So, and there, it looks like they're going to give up there. Maybe they had Kyogre in the back? Not too sure. All right. We're going to have uh, Tokius into Giratina. This is a good lead here. They come in very quick switch there. Uh, this is kind of an awkward situation here, but uh, honestly doesn't need to win switch. Um, and probably just gonna go, shh. okay, no, gonna go for the ominous win here. Um, and uh, okay, should be able to farm down after this. I doubt the Mewtwo will shield here. Uh, yeah, definitely won't shield. Oh, got the boost though, got the boost. But they have, uh, okay. Um, curious what they have in the back. Maybe Malmetal? Okay. They're going to farm all the way down, but I I don't think this Ominous Wind KOs. And got an extra Shadow Claw. Oh my gosh, going to shield this? Okay. Um, I'm not sure about that, but this is uh, totally fine. Um, okay. Should be able to farm down here. Malmetal? No, Excadrill. Okay, yeah, this is game over here. And then you just go to Garchomp. And then, uh, should be, should be game here. Okay, or, or did they end? Um, oh my gosh, Jesus. Okay, um, it doesn't really matter here. Gonna go to Tokus. Um, they're gonna throw two Rock Slides, uh, which will KO. Okay, oh, they probably farm up a little more here before throwing. Yeah. Um, good timing on their side, but this this match is over, right? Unless they're hoping that it's going to be a even if it's a Dialga in the back, there's really like nothing that you could um, maybe a Heatran, like you could probably KO. Uh, but there's like there's really no way here. The Garchomp will easily live. Uh, two drill runs there, um, so very nice play. All right, gonna have Tokus into Mewtwo. Um, kind of a complicated situation here. Let's see when they throw. Usually they throw right before the fifth one, because uh, that's at seven. Um, gonna shield this case as Ice Beam, which I think is the right call. Gonna actually switch out into Guard Chomp here. Oh man, this could easily be an Ice Beam too. Okay, they side strike here. Okay. And then gonna Sand Tomb here. This actually would KO. Um, yeah, it does KO. They come into okay. Interesting that they wouldn't just um, hmm. Obviously, come into Tokyo's here. Maybe could have waited the clock a little longer there. 
uh, this is almost for sure a wild charge, right? Um, they come into Dialga here. Interesting that they that they uh, that they stayed in with Mewtwo despite having two Dragon Breath users. They actually end up shielding here. Um, I think this is okay though. Um, actually, probably not. Probably not. Need to catch that Iron Head, but honestly, it's kind of complicated to catch the Iron Head. Um, and they, they would have farmed down afterwards, so wasn't really too much they could do. Too much you could do there. Okay, so Tokus wins this uh, wins this two shield matchup, uh, but it's like a it has to invest two shields versus Diago only has to invest one. Diago has to shield this in classic, and then actually doesn't have to shield it if it's an ancient power in um, in uh, in the open. If it's an aerialist, they probably have to shield it. Um, okay, they switched in a Giratina onto a Garchomp. Obviously, they didn't want to throw the... Should be able to live this. Uh, I don't know if you can farm down, though. Probably not. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, gonna throw here. They're one off the Ominous Wind, though. Uh, which they won't be able to get to. And then you probably just throw the Sand Tomb. Because uh, the Dialga can almost Dragon Breath down. Okay, that's actually totally fine. You let this go. And then you Shadow Claw down, and it's probably a Kyogre in the back. Um... Oh, no, no Mewtwo, okay. This is totally fine. As far as they wouldn't safe swap a Mewtwo. Um, usually that's like people's go-to safe swap. But I guess they want to avoid the Togekiss. Oh my gosh, got the boost. Okay, the boost didn't really matter here though, to be honest, because the, they're just showing straight side strike. They didn't even build up. And uh, plus the Tokus has way too, way too much health here. Could actually just tank this as well. And um, and then farm down and then Shadow Ball the, the Dialga here. The Dialga is like almost KO'd here. So um, I guess they were like predicting if you can't try to get an Iron Head, that it might be like a Ho-Oh or a Kyogre. So maybe that was the play there. So they're obviously going to have lots of Tokus counters in the back. They come into... Honestly, it's kind of a close matchup between these two. I actually played this matchup on the reverse side against Yasser, and then he actually ended up boosting last second when he simul KO'd. They actually don't shield there. Okay, interesting. Um, obviously, you couldn't want to shield this. They sky attack here. Not a big deal. Oh, okay, another sky attack, but again, not, not a big deal. Can, can be able to farm down. I like this play. Um, because now they get less farm. Not that it really matter here. Plus you get the Shadow Ball off, which is really nice in case you end up in the mirror match later for some reason. Um, but this is looking pretty good. They probably have a Malmetal in the back. Or an Excadrill. Interesting. They're throwing here. Dialga? No Metagross here. Okay. Hmm. Kind of uncomfortable situation here. Um, uh, but the sand tube will really add up here. Uh, okay, they end up shielding here. But this is a pretty tough situation here. Actually gonna no shield this. I like this play here. Because honestly, if they would have if you would have shielded, then the Metagross would have built up quite a bit of energy here. They're, I don't know if they shield this. They actually do shield this. Actually, then this should be game then. Because this Tokus should be able to make it to a move. Actually, gonna throw the Ancient Power here. I kind of like this play. I rather than going for the Flamethrower, because if they catch the Flamethrower, that's really bad here. And plus, he got the boost. Plus, he got the boost. <laughs> plus, he got the boost that he really didn't need to. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I really like that Ancient Power play. Some people might say commit to the Flamethrower, but the Ancient Power, while they were twice debuffed, uh, was was definitely the correct play here. Okay, so obviously gonna go Garchomp here. No point in staying that matchup. Okay, gonna Sand Tomb. Maybe could have considered going for the Outrage here, uh, but the damage is pretty nice here, uh, and actually might be able to flip switch here. I think it's worth shielding this and flipping switch, and gonna be able to farm down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not gonna farm down here because they, they might have. Um, they probably have Giratina in the back. Um, 
Oh, they're actually going to go for the aggressive farm down. This is interesting here. Oh, going to reach the outrage here. Do they shield this or do they think it's a sand tomb? They do shield it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, they obviously have tons of energy here. Um, I think you have to take it though. Yeah, you have to take it and they're probably going to switch here into into Giratina. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Okay, gonna throw the ominous win here, which I don't mind, but they might. Okay, no, they, they do. Uh, okay, and then you just try to charm down here. I think this is fine either way, because uh, either gonna shadow claw down the ominous win here. They they realize what they need to do here. Um, they need to boost here, but this this should be game over here. They're gonna shadow ball here, farm down. And then the ho -Oh has no energy, so should be would be able to shadow ball there. Very nice, very nice play. All right, Tokius into the Groudon, so this is good. Typically, they have two flyers in the back, so honestly, like Lugia in the back is gonna be pretty tough here. Um, so I've seen like uh, Lugia Dialga in the back, and um, good a good Garchomp player, a good uh, Groudon player. Um, should be able to uh, win this matchup in the one shield, or at least put it really, really low. Actually, gonna switch here. Um, they do earthquake. Interesting that they're staying in. Okay. So they must. Interesting that they didn't switch. Hmm. Maybe because they have uh, Malmetal in the back. I'm not. Not sure on this. So I have seen. Uh... Uh, obviously, gonna let this go, and then come into Tokus and farm down. They probably switch right away though. Oh, it's okay. Um, to Kyogre, okay. This is fine though. And the flamethrower was uh, still nice chip damage there, and they actually decide to, to leave the match there. Okay, very nice. All right, we're gonna have Tokius into. Oh man, this is fantastic lead. But usually they have lots of counters here, so I'm gonna go into. Um... Okay, I think this is okay though, because um, you uh, you definitely want to stall clock here a little bit. Because uh, ideally you don't, well, maybe, maybe it doesn't matter here. Because um, they, they, pro they maybe they have double steel or ho -Oh in the back. Um, so going to shadow ball here. Can't farm down though. So going to have to throw the ominous win. Uh, but if you give them, maybe the farm doesn't matter. Oh, they actually shield here. Okay, going to shadow ball again. Again, the shadow ball still shouldn't KO. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they decided not to throw there. Interesting. Okay. And then you're gonna throw the Shadow Ball. There's still a chunk. Um, and do uh, do some damage there. And then uh, obviously gonna come back in with Kiss. The energy on this thing doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's double steel. Okay. This is this is pretty good though. Um, Yeah, gonna be able to sand tomb here, and then uh, they kind of have to shield the sand tomb. Okay, all right. Uh, I okay, <laughs> okay. Gonna was gonna you could you could shield this and then uh, farm it down. Okay, actually not gonna shield this. Interesting. Um, and then uh, gonna shield this obviously, and then uh, this should be game. They might transfer no. This, this doesn't matter here. I'm not sure what this thing's gonna do against Tokyus. Absolutely nothing. Especially like Flying Fairy, that's like the worst nightmare for, uh, for it. So, um, so we've seen how he played this last time. He likes to try to catch the Iron Head onto Garchomp, which I think makes sense. Because um, if you can preserve your second shield, 
And basically, as you sneak in the, the Dragon Tail, it should KO too. Okay, they come into Kyogre here. Mm, okay, it's always tough to time it when they're switching in, right? Because then you gotta watch all this animation stuff. Okay, uh, obviously not gonna shield this. They go for the Blizzard. Um, you gotta charm down here. Yeah, you can't reveal the second. If this is a Melmetal in the back, okay, it's Tokus in the back. Oof. Okay, you kind of have to hope that they don't shield this. If you want any chance to win this, okay. Okay, there's a potential win con here. Okay, if they don't shield this again, maybe. Maybe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh God. Now they're just gonna lose with two shields. Oh my gosh, gonna shield shield this. Wow, okay. And now they're gonna dragon tail down this uh Yep. Yeah. Wow, okay. They just, they literally didn't shield either one. What were they what were they gonna do there? I have no idea what their plan of attack was. Um that that was just really, really confusing uh matchup there. Alright, Tokus into Dialga. Okay. Let's see what they want to do here. Okay, good timing by the opponent there. They're, they're obviously trying to keep track of the charms. Okay, gonna throw here and then probably gonna throw one more charm and then switch. This should still be an, only an Iron Head. There's no way they can make it to a Draco there. Okay, they come into Dragon Tail Groudon here. Okay, gonna throw the Sand Tomb, which makes sense because I don't think he would have made it to, uh, uh, yeah, definitely would have fainted there, but still got some really nice damage there. Obviously gonna farm down with uh, Togius here. They're gonna make two Fire Punches, but extra Charm Through is really nice there. Maybe could catch a second Fire Punch onto, no, can't catch the second one. Um, should live this still, and then you switch right away. Okay, doesn't live it, that's fine. Able to Shadow Claw down. Oh, here comes Kyogre here. Just needs to make sure it doesn't Shadow Claw the... Get, get, yeah, they tried, to, they tried to wait there. Really, really nice attempt by the opponent there. They actually didn't even throw the Waterfall because they knew it was going to be in the middle. Um, so, but yeah, sure identified that and uh, did some additional farm there and uh, some really fantastic play. Uh, definitely check out Yester on twitch.tv um, and I'm sure uh, he'll he'll comment below and include his link. Uh, but congratulations on, on hitting Legend uh, with a relatively affordable team. Anyways, good luck there. If you like to do it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.